Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about the effect of doping intrinsic semiconductor. That is the extrinsic conductivity. For this case, let us take the n-type semiconductor. We know that in the n-type semiconductor, the conductivity of the n-type material that is sigma n is equal to the donor concentration n d into q into the mobility of the electron that is mu n. Similarly, if we consider the p-type semiconductor, then the conductivity of the p type material that is the sigma p is equals to the accepted concentration na into q into the whole mobility that is mu p so in this topic we are going to discuss the effect of doping the extrinsic semiconductor so in this equation can see the extrinsic semiconductor conductivity depends on the donor concentration. This is the donor concentration. Similarly, the extrinsic conductivity of the p type material depends on the acceptor concentration. This is acceptor concentration. So we can find how the extrinsic conductivity of an n-type material and a p-type material will change with respect to this donor concentration and the acceptor concentration because this donor concentration and the acceptor concentration are nothing but the doping concentration. So we can say that the doping increases the conductivity of the ex extrinsic material because we can see that the sigma n is proportional to nd and as well as sigma p is proportional to na so we can say that doping increases the doping increases the conductivity of extrinsic semiconductor now a semiconductor conductivity can write semiconductor conductivity is in between the insulator and conductor. Know this. Another thing we can write a highly doped silicon semiconductor. A highly doped semiconductor will exhibit metallic property because the semiconductor will be highly doped, and the what are the properties that we can see, or what are the metallic property that we can see in the semiconductor. First one is for highly doped semiconductor, the metallic property that is seen is the first one is the larger conductivity. Larger conductivity. The second metallic property that can be seen that when when minimum impurity atoms, minimum impurity atoms are added in the semiconductor negative temperature coefficient of resistance is converted into positive temperature coefficient of resistance from the option b we can say that if 
we see the semiconductor material it will have a negative temperature coefficient of resistance that means as the temperature increases the conductivity of the semiconductor material increases so you can say the resistance of the semiconductor decreases it happens for a semiconductor material but when a semiconductor material but when a semiconductor material will be highly doped that means highly doped semiconductor material will behave as a metal weak property for that case we can say that it will have a positive temperature coefficient or resistance the second option will show this nature in the third property that can be seen in a highly doped semiconductor is the bipolar nature by polar nature of semiconductor will become unipolar so from this context we can say that a highly doped semiconductor will behave as a will behave as a conductor and a highly doped semiconductor is called as degenerate semiconductor where the doping concentration or doping ratio or we can say that the impurity ratio of degenerate semiconductor is 1 is to 10 to the power so these are the two properties we can see similarly we can say that for highly doped semiconductor that is for degenerate semiconductor temperature coefficient is positive we have already discussed that and the second one for extrinsic semiconductor which are not degenerate that is non degenerate extrinsic semiconductor temperature coefficient is positive in this way the doping concentration in an extrinsic semiconductor will control the conductivity of the extrinsic material so this is all about how the doping concentration will an effect on the extrinsic conductivity of an extrinsic semiconductor. Thank you.